Good morning, everyone. I hope you had a great day yesterday. And again, today is going to be an awesome day, for the Lord is with you. Let me start with scripture today. It comes from 1 Samuel chapter 17, verses 45 through 47. It says, Then David said to Philistine, this is Goliath, You come to me with a sword and with a spear and with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of the hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defiled. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand, I will strike you down and cut off your head. And I will give the dead bodies of the host of the Philistines this day to the birds of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth. That all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And that all this assembly may know that the Lord saves not with sword and spear. For the battle is the Lord's and he will give you into our hands. If you were to ask a stranger, you know, in a mall or a co-worker, maybe they're not Christians. But if you were to ask them uh, a Bible story, there's a high probability that they would name David and Goliath as one of those stories. Yes, they could name Jesus walking on the water or turning water to wine or the golden rule, right? Do unto others as you want them to do unto you. Um, maybe they'll mention Jonah, the huge fish, but the odds are pretty good that they will mention David and Goliath. Non-Christians know this story. Non-religious people know this story. Coaches use this story to inspire their players against much tougher teams. Advertisers use this story to draw people to buy their products. In a world where a little guy seems to remain little and where the underdog tends to lose, this story speaks loudly from chapter 17 of 1 Samuel. The David and Goliath story tells us that God can use little people to do great things. And at times when we look at our lives, we are challenged, aren't we? And there are challenges that are like giant size. And sometimes we feel inadequate, insecure. We look at our resources and we realize we don't have enough. So I want to share with people this week about giants, facing giants in life. The first thing I want to share with you is the fact that everyone has giants in their lives that seems to be overwhelming. Everyone. There are no exceptions. You're not alone. And we go, all go through those moments in life when we feel inadequate and overwhelmed. All of us are going to have those moments uh, where we look around and there seems to be people who have everything together. Right? But it's good to know that everyone goes through those moments of overwhelming inadequacy because everyone faces giants in our lives. Even though we look around and we see people who seem to have it all together, you know, they, got, they, they seem to have no troubles in life, they always seem to have the right deal with life, they always make the right choices, and they always do say the right things. We look at them and we always feel, hmm, why are they so steady? Why are they so strong? What's wrong with me? And we wonder, you know, how bad we are and feel insecure and scared sometimes. But the reality is that everyone is going through, going to face giants. And everyone will go through times when we feel unsecure or insecure, unsure, inadequate, overwhelmed. I just think some people are really good at faking that. You know, they're pretending, like professionals uh, who pretend they're strong and they're courageous when inside they feel just the same, overwhelmed and scared. I remember uh, standing next to uh, my kids' bed and as they were growing, you know, they were much younger. And as a pastor, I've witnessed parents lose their kids to car accidents, uh, falling off a cliff, uh, diseases. Uh, some, some things that you don't expect happen to uh, our kids. And sometimes I'll just watch them and look at them and just overwhelm by the responsibility of being a parent. And at that moment, all I can do is lean on God because those things are out of my control. It's overwhelming. But you lean on God. Just like David who came and said, Goliath, you're coming with the tools of the world. Spears, the bombs, the, the shield, and the armors of the world. But I come in the name of the Lord. He will give me victory. Friends, today, 
lean on God. Maybe you're facing something because of COVID-19 and it seems overwhelming. You don't know what to do and we're still in shelter right now. But God is pretty clear. Lean on Him and He will give you victory. Jesus said this um, to disciples who were asking questions. And He said, with man, this is impossible. And there are situations in life where giants just look like this is an impossible situation. But here is the promise. But with God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. So with all the overwhelming, insecure feelings and anxiety and worries, go to God today. He will make the impossible possible in your life, just as He did in David's life. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.